Hello everyone and welcome to Moscow. We're here for 72 hours and right now we're in the Red Square which is the heart of Moscow. First thing we're going to do is go inside St. Basil's Cathedral. <music> So we got our tickets. Um, there is a queue for online tickets and it was a lot shorter. If you book online, then I guess you get to expedite that process, but we're inside now and it's amazing already. This is just the artwork on the ceiling. Okay, so walking around St. Basil's Cathedral is actually a bit of a maze because there's so many different churches within the cathedral. Uh, you can easily get lost just wandering around. But every room offers something different and it's so beautiful in here. Okay, so St. Basil's Cathedral is beautiful inside. It's really nice. There was people like singing in there. There's actually nine churches inside St. Basil's Cathedral. Um, and I think eight of those represent an attack or an, an attempted attack on the city of Kazan when they were pushing the Mongolians back out of Russia by request of Ivan the Terrible who wanted to have a representation of his successful capture of the city of Kazan which I think is really special. Okay so this is our first experience in Russia. Uh, I've never been here before so it's going to be an interesting one for us. A couple of things we need to do today. Um, first thing is go and get a sim card or our phone so that we have data and then we can use Translate app and all that kind of stuff. And then we're gonna go pick up our train tickets from our travel agent, Real Russia, which is about 40 minutes away. We're gonna take the metro. Okay, so we're just at the metro station and we've found that you can get a Troika card. I'm gonna show you how to do that on the subway system. Buy a Troika card, that's what we wanna get. And then purchase ticket. Okay, now we've got a couple of options here. We've got a 60 trip fare, 30 day pass, 90 day, one day, three day or a whole year. So we've chosen the three day pass and we're going to use our trusty TransferWise card. Okay, and we should get a card. what people say like very intricate like lamps and chairs and designs very clean very efficient but so far good impressions okay so we've just got our sim cards um, from a mobile phone provider called megaphone uh, so the sim cards were about 900 rubles all up yeah not bad not bad for a month internet access last thing you do need your passport and also get them to disable spam as well otherwise you're going to get loads of messages like adverts and stuff another place to visit in moscow is the bolshoi theater So nearby to Red Square and St. Basil's Cathedral, as you can see behind me, is this massive park called Zarodai Park. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it's huge and it's got so many attractions to come and see. There's a viewing platform, there's a stage here for performances, and there's even an ice cave. We're going to come back here later when it's dark and all the lights are turned on, and I'm sure it's going to be very magical. So we are now in the Goom department store situated in Red Square. It has become a tourist attraction itself because it's so beautiful in here. It's said to be like a royal palace. We're going to go now and have a look around and look for the famous fountain in the centre. So this popular eatery behind me, um, number 57, is very famous because it's like stepping back in time to Soviet Russia. It's in the style of a canteen, so you go in there and have your food as if you're in the canteen, but you actually serve quite decent food. Ok, 
Okay, so the Goom department store is an attraction in its own right. If you come at Christmas time, they really decorate and pull out all the stops. And you get to see some amazing things like this huge Christmas tree behind me. from the outside. Okay, we're back at Zaralje Park and we're going to explore all the lights and everything that they have here. Looking very Christmassy and Charlotte is feeling festive. So this part looks amazing at night time. All the lights are out and you've got an amazing view of St. Razzles and also the river. So behind me we thought it was a bridge. It's actually a lookout point on top of the river so we're going to go over there now. So this is definitely a highlight of Moscow. As you can see that this overhanging kind of platform across the river bends around and follows back behind me, but you have a 360 view all around you of Moscow. You look very Russian. Do I? Yeah. Okay, if there's one recommendation we can say from our time in Moscow, it's that everybody needs to go and explore the city by night because the lights all over. And I don't think this is just at Christmas time, are spectacular. So definitely put on some warm clothes and get out there and see it because it's well worth it. We're looking for a polar bear or two in this park. Okay, we're on a mission now. We're looking for polar bears in Gorky Park. Not sure if we want to ask people to point out the polar bears because they might think we're weirdos. So we're at Gorky Park and we've just gone under the underpass which passes under the road bridge and there's loads of artwork here. Really interesting stuff too. This is Charlotte's favourite piece. I think we found the polar bears and we're really excited because I was imagining them to be my height, like, but they're massive and I'm well excited. <laughs> it's true, these polar bears are huge. Should we cut through? Uh, <laughs> okay, so if you take a look behind me, you are going to see some big old polar bears. Cue cinematic sequence. that is it for our highlights in moscow vlog we hope you've enjoyed it if you did like this video leave a comment below and hit subscribe to see more videos the next one we'll be doing is our trans-siberian railway adventure and it's going from moscow all the way to harbin in china which is a nice festival there's loads coming up we'll see you in the next one guys bye